Hey everyone, Kai Down here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up the Line 6 FBV to control Helix Native in Studio One. Quick word of warning though, make sure you get the Mark II and not the Mark I, as the Mark I doesn't have the USB port necessary for this setup. Let's quickly dive into the FBV control app. This app's available on the Line 6 website, so I'll add it in the description box for you to download below. If you're looking to set it up for toggle switches, set it up like I've got them here. If you're looking to set it up for controlling snapshots instead, these are all done through CC69 and the different snapshots are set by the value of that CC number. Here's how it will look if you're setting it up for snapshots 1 through 4. I'll add the full list of conversions in the description box below. I'm going to set mine up for toggles for now. Next you want to open up the Studio One app. Create a new session, head to the Preferences tab, hit External Devices, Add, then hit New Control Surface. Name it accordingly, then set the receive from to be the Line 6 FPV Express Mark II Port 1. Hit OK and cancel out of that. Now add your new track. I'm going to start by adding Helix Native to the track. Now add the block you'd like to control. In my case this is going to be the PolyWAM block. Up in the top right hand corner of the plugin you'll see this little cog icon. Hit this and it will bring up the parameter control window. Hit the drop down box underneath control and select your Line 6 FBV. Hit MIDI learn and then hit all of the buttons on the Line 6 FBV including the expression pedal and the toe switch. You can check it's working by looking up in this parameter window where I press different buttons you'll see that it pops up here. Once you've done this, close out of native, select your track, and then hit the A key. Where it says display off, click this and then hit add remove. Click on inserts and then you'll see all of the assignments for Helix Native. We're going to need knob 1 through to snapshot index, so we'll add those. And if you're using snapshots, you're also going to want to add CC69. Now that you've got that set up, we can head back to Helix Native and start assigning the parameters. For my needs, I want to set the bypass of the whammy block to my first foot switch. So what we're going to do is right click on the pitch block, select automation bypass, followed by switch 1. You'll see it pop up here and say switch 1 helix native. Then I'm going to press the first control on my foot pedal that I'd like to assign the block to, and it will pop up in the parameter window. Hit this little triangle icon to link them together, and now you'll see that whenever I press the button on the FBV, the block turns on and off. The setup process for knobs and parameters is very similar. Just right click on the parameter you'd like to control, hit automation assign, followed by knob 1. We'll now assign that knob to the foot pedal by pressing the button on the foot pedal and then hitting the link button. You'll notice when I press this button it goes all the way from minus 36 to plus 24. I'd like it to go between 1 octave and 2 octaves, so we'll head to the automation controller assign tab, find the knob 1 button that I've just assigned, set the minimum to be 1 octave and the maximum to be 2 octaves. Now when I press this button you'll see it go up from 1 to 2 octaves. Assigning the expression pedal is done in much the same way, hit the position knob, Automation assign, knob 2, sweep the pedal, and then link them. Now the foot pedal controls the whammy's position knob. For snapshots, it's the same kind of thing, although all four snapshots are controlled by the same CC number, so you only have to link them once. I'll quickly dive into setting that one up too. So we'll add the pitch wham block again, but this time the toe shift is going to be set through snapshots. We'll set snapshot 1 to be minus 5. We'll save that to our library, call it WAM. We'll set snapshot 2 to be plus 12. We'll save that to our library. We'll set snapshot 3 to be plus 24 and save that. Now you'll notice what happens here is that the foot pedals aren't assigned anymore because I changed them in the Line 6 FBV control app. So what we need to do is we need to head back into the MIDI learn tab by hitting this button, hit MIDI learn and then hit the foot switches. Close out of that and you'll see it's now affecting the value here. 
So we'll assign this to the snapshots by selecting one of the snapshots, pressing the foot pedal and hitting the link button. Now hopefully what you'll see is when I click through each of these, it cycles through the different snapshots. You can also set up the position knob to do exactly the same thing. Automation assign knob one, sweep of the expression pedal. So there we go. Now we've got all of the different toe shifts set up on different snapshots with the expression pedal controlling the whammy amount. To record the automation to a track, simply click where it says auto off and set this to write. This just means that whenever you press play on your session, it'll start writing the automation data to your track. Now just to check it's all working, I'm gonna quickly run through it with Amped Flagship. That's all I've got, so thank you for checking this one out with me, and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me do with it.